Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making whole food plant-based Wendy's Frosties. Not only are we making the chocolate frosty, but we're also making the vanilla, which has actually become my favorite. Now I will say I haven't had a frosty in four to five years because I've been plant-based for quite some time. And I'll put a list of the frosty ingredients on the screen now. And so just saying that these are made from real whole foods, it's a good frosty replacement if you've been a lover of Frosties in the past. Will it 100% taste like a Wendy's Frosty? Probably not, again, because it's these ingredients. But I guarantee that this one is much healthier for you and um, satisfying and gonna fill you up. So we're gonna jump into the video. I actually crave the vanilla one now, and it's just such a treat. And you can eat it with a spoon, which was my favorite way to eat Frosties. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. They're super easy to make and delicious. And since I've been starting to run, this has been my favorite treat to have after. So I hope you guys enjoy. Starting with the vanilla oat frosty shake, I have one frozen banana that I'm adding to my blender. This will work with any blender. You do not need to have a Vitamix. Just make sure your banana is frozen. Uh, to sweeten this, I have one and a half pitted dates. They're medjool dates. You can play around with this amount to how you like it sweet. And for vanilla, it's our star ingredient, so I have half of a teaspoon. Again, if that's too much vanilla extract for you, you can kind of play around with it. I have half a cup of rolled oats that I've soaked in water in our refrigerator for around an hour to two. And you just want all the water to really soak into your oats. That's how you know it's finished. It's really gonna make it nice and creamy. And then I have five to six ice cubes. And that's it, we're just gonna blend it all together. If you find that your Frosty is not spoonable, you can always stick it in the refrigerator or in the freezer. It will thicken up over time. The oats really help to thicken our shake. And it's just been my favorite thing. I really enjoy the taste, the creaminess. I love it, really, really cold. So if it, if it isn't cold enough, just stick it back in your refrigerator, wait maybe half an hour, and then enjoy. It's really such a nice treat. I love it. And you can even have it for breakfast, it's that healthy, which who doesn't love? And once everything is blended, I just went ahead and added it to a mason jar. And this makes one serving, so it's really, really convenient and easy. And you'll see that it's, I tried to show you guys, it's a really nice and thick shake. And again, play around with that amount of sweetness or vanilla that you like. Really make it to your preference. Our chocolate oat frosty is up, and so it's one frozen banana. You'll see that this recipe is very similar to the vanilla one. And it's one and a half pitted dates. I used Majold. Again, make it sweet as you'd like. Half a cup of rolled oats that I've soaked in the refrigerator with a little bit of water. And I just felt the water till it's just um, right over the amount of oats when I put it. And then this is two tablespoons of cacao powder. You could also use cocoa powder, whatever you have, just make sure it's unsweetened and don't drop your, um, don't drop your cup into your blender. <laughs> and then it's five to six uh, ice cubes. Now I do add some vanilla extract to this once it gets blended. Um, you don't have to, it can be optional. I do find that I like vanilla extract in this. So you'll see that I added it here, but it's a nice dark chocolate frosty. I love that it gets nice and thick from the oats and the banana. And um, this has been my husband's favorite. He, it's so crazy because usually I'm the chocolate person and I really like the vanilla version of this, but he loves this. So again, I added the same amount of vanilla as I did the first shake, so it was half of a teaspoon. You can play around with the amounts and you can leave it out if you want, but go ahead and add it to your jar when it's all nice and smooth. And again, it gets nice and thick. You can stick it in the freezer or into the refrigerator and it's our favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, give it a try. I would love to know if you like the vanilla or the chocolate more, but this is our oat frosty shake. So easy to make. If you used non-frozen bananas, you can place these in the freezer for a little bit and let them kind of thicken up. The oats do thicken the shake the longer you let it sit. 
So if you find that it's not spoon ready, stick it in your freezer for a little bit, come back and check on it. Even in the refrigerator, it does thicken up. And I will say that you can make this as sweet as you'd like by adding in more dates and kind of tweaking things, right? This is just really how I prefer them, but I want you to make it how you like it. So add more dates or less dates or whatever you'd like for the sweetness. And same with the vanilla extract. So this is thick enough that you can eat with a spoon. You love the vanilla one. It's just so nice, oh my gosh. Like I said, the vanilla one has become my new favorite, which I'm not huge. I'm much more a chocolate lover, but I really, really like the vanilla. Same with the chocolate. It is edible with a spoon. You can also eat it with a straw, just like a Frosty. I love both of them. Mm. These make one serving, so you can double it or triple it, and it's great. And the only prep you have to do for this is to let your oats soak in that water. And I would say around an hour to two. Once the water is mainly all soaked up, you know that they're ready to go, they're soft enough, and you're ready to blend. I hope you guys give this a try. Make sure you leave me a comment if you tried our Wendy's Frosty Dupes, the vanilla or the chocolate. And I can't wait for you guys to see the next recipe video. So make sure you're subscribed down below. Leave us a comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Again, I make recipes twice a week, hopefully plant-based, oil-free, refined sugar-free, salt-free, and I would love to have you as part of our community. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.